Are you ready for the information superhighway? Well, our guest this section of uh, Coming Together, Ken Granderson of Inner City Softwares, believe you should be. And Ken has brought this unique uh, program, a CD-ROM program, African Americans in Boston, more than 350 years, computer high-tech history. What's this all about, Ken? What this project is about is, first of all, bringing technology to the community. Mm -hmm. We think that there's a big problem with a lack of technology in the black community, and we hope that producing more projects like this will get more people in the community to take a second look at technology and say, maybe there is something here for me. Now, you've brought this computer set up with you, and I'm just learning about computers, so let's mm -hmm. tell me what we have here. Tell me about the program that we're going to see. Okay. What we have here is a software version of the book published in 1992 by Boston, the Boston Public Library. It was written by Bob Hayden, a local black historian, and it goes through 350 years of contributions that African Americans have made in the Boston area in everything from civil rights to politics to law, art, science, you name it. What we've done is taken the information and organized it so that instead of having to go page by page through a book, you can jump around wherever you want. For instance, if you're interested in civil rights, you can just click right there, uh -huh. and you get a list of different items and events, people who had something to do with civil rights in the Boston area. If we look at Frederick Douglass, for instance, this picture. we have a picture there. We have a little thumbnail shot, just so you know that there is a picture there. If you click on it, you get a larger shot. So I know our young people in school, my children are, you know, computer literate because they have computers in most schools. But most of us in the community, I, I, I would think, are not computer. We, I just got mine. So right. what do you find when you go to the community and, and uh, African Americans with computers? Do we have them in our homes? Um, there are not that many computers in the African American homes. We think that that's going to change in the next couple of years, and we think that programs like this are going to be a large part of making that happen. Again, we hope that when we see ourselves in the picture, we'll get more interested and hopefully put computers on a higher priority level this Christmas than the 3DOs and Nintendos that a lot of us do have. Now you then are the pioneers because of, of putting our kind of information into a computer, because I imagine without you it wouldn't be there. Well, I wouldn't say without <laughs> me. There are very few people creating technology of this kind. And I can't take all the credit, for sure. There were a lot of people who contributed their skills to make this happen. And in fact, um, we look forward to partnering with musicians, artists, uh, video producers, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. TV folks, yeah. for doing future projects like this. Because we think that multimedia is definitely where you have to get people. The future. Yeah. Do you want to show us some more on this um, uh, computer? All right. In, in addition to being able to just read a uh, page by page, you can also jump around and look for anything. For instance, if we look up WBZ. WBZ. Oh my. What do we have here? Voila! Now this <laughs> makes me feel part of the future, huh? Exactly, and that's exactly what we hope will happen in a general sense when people of color see this kind of program. When I say this kind, we do have several other things in the works, so when we get them done, maybe we'll come back. Okay, that would be good. Why do you think it is that we don't have so many computers in our community? Is it economics, do you believe? Um, economics definitely does play a role, but um, as I made the example with the 3DOs and the Nintendos, and I really have to say it's a question of priorities. We'll figure out ways to save and buy on credit for things that we feel are important to us. And Technology hasn't presented itself as something that's relevant in our lives yet. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. hopefully, when people see things that they can use to teach their children that deal with our own culture, when we see more things that, uh, that are educational entertainment, personal development, that have us in it, we hope that people will take a second look at technology. And whether we get on the super highway of information or not, this, this highway is real and going on to the future, right? It's going on to the future and there are no stop signs. It's going faster and faster. And you know, if there's one thing I can leave with the audience, it's that this is the direction the world is going. And if you want to stay, if you want to keep up, if you want to even be in the game, you've got to get involved with the technology. The, the good news is there are a lot of places where you can get to technology for free, even. Mm -hmm. the, 
The bad news is that no one's going to come knocking on your door. You have to go for you it. You have to go for it. Well, that's always been a challenge for African Americans. So we thank you for being a pioneer and taking us to the next stage. Ken Granderson from Inner City Software. And this is about the uh, information superhighway. You should get on board. I'd like to thank you for joining us today on Coming Together. We'll see you next week.